we have put together, I think, the most extensive and inclusive voter fraud organization in the history of American politics. He just told us right there, I think he was telling the truth. He didn't mean to, he didn't want to, but he did. You think Donald Trump has won? Absolutely, I do. I mean, for me to believe that Joe Biden got 78 million votes, got the most votes of any president ever in the history of, of voting, I, I find that very hard to believe. Me too. Tony Esposito of Youngstown, Ohio, he was terrific. And so were his buddies. It went on from there. There's a recipe for disaster when they decided to have these mail-in votes. I don't think there's any way of proving the person that mailed that in is the person that actually did it. You look at what secretaries of state have said, they have seen no evidence of massive fraud. From my vantage point, I've there's too many smoke and mirrors in terms of ballots appearing here, reappearing there, disappearing here, this, that, and the third. Where there's smoke, there's fire. When we deal with globalists and liberalism, I'd put absolutely nothing past them. There's no way that, that mm -mm, it just doesn't, doesn't smell right. Too many irregularities. It's not pretty, but this stuff happened over the weekend and uh, tough to watch, but I think we should. That's go time. Can you tell me what happened? No, come on, let me stay.